Hello, it's not a nerd. In this video tutorial, I'm going to quickly look at the ways that you can convert a play canvas project, which is a HTML5 WebGL JavaScript game. I'm going to know how we can convert that into a Windows executable using Electron. Um, so I'll just go step by step from play canvas, pull, downloading the zip to actually getting it. Uh, built as an elect compiled as an electron app uh, as an executable environment with electron. Okay, so the, just dive right into it. So the first thing you want to do is go to your project and play canvas. I mean, we're using play canvas in this example. It could be any uh, so far, but I'm going to assume you already have something ready to go. So you need to select all scenes. Uh, the first. That's the start one. Just download that. And so I'm downloading my build. Press the download button. Open that up. Okay. Copy those files, wait for later on. We'll be using them later. Let's create a folder somewhere for this. Call it uh, Electron Files or something. So we're going to basically merge them in later. Uh, extract them all so they're all zipped out. Good, there we go. So we've got all the files there. Let's just do quickly check it works. There can be times where it can mess up. I'll just check. It's functional. Where's up a pre Willis? Uh, okay. A cause for you, okay. Strange. Try again. Okay, anyway, we'll try it. Let's just try and. It seems to be. Give me a cause message, but let's just try and get into the actual meat of what we want to do. So we go and create a new project. We're going to make it. Uh, actually, did this file the command line. We're going to create. New project using the guidelines that Electron gives us, and we'll create it in this folder actually. So I'll just open a PowerShell. So I go to the menu there, or the command line, just open the command line in the directory you want to install the files, and then you've got a command here. So don't need them. I've already made the uh, directory, so let's go and I'll have it, so let's just check. Let's just call this catch. The, uh, I'll do a valid command line actually. So we'll do make directory make dir, which just basically makes a folder electron bugs or something. And change into electron bugs. Then we want to do this, which initiates, creates a, a um, package JSON. There we go, electron bugs. And then we do the following npi MP, npm install, which is our command to save as a dev dependency electron. So that should install that. There we go, so that's working. Then you want to copy this mains.js. I'll open the project up, so I've got to open. I think it was in here, wasn't it? I know it's in my main directory. Okay. Do, 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 do. I'll try just opening it in. It's in web. Oh, okay, it's in web dev 2021. Open. Uh, 
electron files and then get electron box, which is the folder we want to open. So we'll open it in a new window, just because it's a referencing one. Okay, so we've got our we've not got much in there, we've got the node modules for electron installed and we've got a package JSON with an entry point of index.js. So next you want to copy this main script. I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna go new, I mean, this might be different in your um uh, we'll main copy this code because uh, this is telling uh, Electron of what to load basically from what I understand so our entry point is going to be it's still going to be indexed at HTML so we've copied that to this little this is an Electron docs specifically uh, it's describing what's going on under, under the hood not all of which I fully understand but um, and it works <laughs> Um, our index HTML won't be this because we're uh, we want to probably add in our files now. So if I just get this, I'm going to get all these files, making sure everything's there, otherwise it probably won't work. And just copy it into this folder. So that's all my Play Canvas fol uh, files now copied into the Electron folder. And then I want to add preload.js. Let me just double check my casing for main.js. Okay, it's different, so I'm going to change that actually quickly. Just just because I'm following the example, so it'll be easier. Just re rename it to a lowercase m. That can change from sometimes. Okay, there we go. Fine, good. Then we want to add this preload.js. Preload. Okay. Our main entry point we need to change in the package JSON to main.js instead of index.js. So we go here, because that's just generated when we do the main.js. Okay. So we can run the application now, but then we want to, we want to package it next. So I'm just going to do this based on the one that I got working for. I think I have to install. We create two folders: build and distribution. Um, and then I'm going to add all this sort of. So let's install Electron Builder first. So we go to our uh, open or any terminal open the folder you want to go into. NPM install, da, 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 da. is it dev or? Is it dev dependency? So we want to save it to our dev dependencies. So I think this will work. Let's try something wrong. Come on. There we go. So it's installing Electron Builder now as a dev dependency. We should see that pop up in the J project package JSON. There we go. It's come up now. See there, it's been added to the de dev dependencies. Okay. Now we want to create our two folders: build and distribution. So I just create those, build, and distribution. And hopefully this is going to work first time. I've only done, like I said, I've only done this like basically once so far. So I'm just hoping it works. <laughs> um, okay, so let's just copy these scripts. Where it says where you got scripts instead of where it says test, just to replace that with this. So we've got post install, install app dependencies, start, starts Electron. Uh, we'll try that in a minute actually. And then distribution is Electron Builder. We could probably at the probably at the state where I can try npm start, see if it boots it up. Yep, there we go. So that worked, good. So now it's running as an executable in the by electron. 
So that's good. I just need to get out of that. So that works. That's good. So that's now running via Electron. So now we want to do. Um, we we also want to add a few other things here. We need to add a um, a. Uh, Okay, just add this. I think this is just the generic name, so I won't call it my electron app, I'll call it catch the bugs.exe. So we've got builds, which is basically setting the build settings. We need to also add a well remember we need to add an icon, an icon file, so I'll just do that too, otherwise it doesn't work basically, which is a bit annoying, it caught me out a few times. So in our build folder which we created before. I've just got a generic Windows icon, but it can be any sort of icon that you want, really. Go to Electron Bugs, go to Build, I'll just paste this in here, otherwise it won't work. You'll get your errors saying this this won't work. Okay, and then I think the command will just run as npm run build, I think. Oh, is it npm run distribution? npm run build I think, or oh, npm dist npm run dist I think I think we've got everything set up now, let's just see what happens so it's saying the description's missing but this looks like it's doing the right thing what this is doing is just basically packaging it up as an uh, executable and then basically it should work I might need to run npm install, I'm not sure, it looks like I missed something. Oh no, looks like it won't be working. Building, so it's building the file there, the executable for catch the bugs, with the settings I've given it, which I'll, I'll provide a link to this probably somehow uh, in the um, supporting info. that's building, might take a little bit of time, I guess. It looks like it's working basically, which is good. And then we'll have, once it's working, we'll have a executable we can just run as a Windows EXE file, instead of as a or like well, as usual play canvas it's a it's usually run on websites so this is making it as a standalone executable basically which is quite nice which can be useful because you can use it for if you just want to release it as a standalone I guess okay that looks like it's worked so we go to the build folder not that one this one go to I think it's this oh, which one? oh there we go so there we go we've got our executable there Catch the bugs, click on it. Should work now, hopefully. Okay, it's saying suspicious file because it just always does that with anything it can't identify. It's going to scan it and say, oh, it's alright actually. So, yeah, it's worked basically. Get away. Okay, it's just closed it down because of my antivirus. Yeah, great, 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 great. <laughs> Sorry, I have to go through this crap again because it thinks it's a virus because I guess it's non you get this event whenever you run like whenever I run uh, yeah 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 okay fine great amazing I'll go away okay there we go so let's just click start and you can see it's just like it is on the web except it's in, now an executable I'm sure there's more settings you could add but Basically, that allows you to uh, play the game as I'll take you left. Okay, so that's that. That's all there is to it, really. Just quit this. That's how you get an executable. Uh, like a, you can do it for any type of HTML file as well. You could do it from a website, even I guess, if you want to. Or yeah, um, that's how you do that. So you convert play canvas. 
game into a uh, executable app. I'll, I'll leave it at that, I think. Right, bye.